And joining me now on the Drive Time Podcast is new Dolphins defensive lineman, Adam Butler. Adam, I got to ask you, man, I've, I've done a few of these today now. I think you might have the drip belt uh, coming your way from, from what I'm looking at. Oh, yeah, man. You know I had to come, I had to come prepared, you know. It's, 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 it's all business today, isn't it? Yep, all business. All business. Well, we're, we're getting you in here. Happy to talk to you and, and get a chance to meet you. And and one of the things I've been asking, you know, your teammates here that have just signed with Miami is, you know, football is obviously a very big part of a professional football player's life from youth to professional. But I just want to kind of get your take on on what has football meant to you in your life? Um, Really, I, I, I really don't uh, know anything else but football. You know, I mean, ever since I was seven years old, I've been playing football, you know, and I've dreamt of being in the position that I'm in now, you know, um, and it's been a great ride for me. And, you know, hopefully I got a lot more football ahead of me. That's what we're thinking here in Miami as well. You come down, you reunite with a former coach of yours, a couple of former coaches with Brian Flores and, and Josh Boyer, the defensive coordinator. Now, what can you tell us about your relationship with Coach Flo and how how did that kind of make the decision to come here maybe easier or made, made the decision for you? Yeah, well, uh, Coach Flo, first of all, you know, he's he's a great man. Uh, you know, and he's, you know, he's about the work, you know, and so am I, you know, so uh, we definitely have the same mindset, you know, and the same work it, work ethic uh, in that sense, you know, and that, that kind of inspired me to, uh, to come here, you know. Uh, me and him, you know, we have our own little relationship, um, you know, and, and I was just looking forward to coming here. And so you've had a chance to play against this Dolphins team with Coach Flores at the controls now for four games, two years back to back, and I believe the two sides have split both those games. What's your uh, what's your opposing scouting report on this Dolphins team? Like, what'd you take away from playing this Dolphins team four times the last two years? Uh, I would say um, you guys are always well now us, but at that point you guys were always uh, unpredictable in the second game. It's, it was like it was always like night and day. You know, the first team would be one team, and then we come back. You know, in the second half of the season, it's like, whoa, who is this team? You know, um, but I've definitely enjoyed playing this organization, and now you know I'm here. You know, and I'm ready to bring my talents to this place. That's kind of part of Coach's message, right? Like you want to be a better team in December than you were in September. That's that's something he's preached a bunch, I'm sure, to you, right? Right. Yeah. Well, that's why. That's probably why y'all were so different. <laughs> there you go yeah to playing you guys in september then in december it's a like you mentioned two different teams that the that, that square off in those games and and speaking of playing with with coach flores and coming down here to miami you know adam watching your tape man you play all over the place multiple spots we, we've got just defensive lineman here on the roster what's the key to being able to play multiple positions on the defensive line well i just um uh whatever you know the coaches tell me to do i do it you know uh, and basically my mindset is just whatever it takes to win, you know, so if you need me in this spot, you know, I'll make the adjustment. If you need me in that spot, I'll make the adjustment, you know, because at the end of the day, you know, every team wants to win. So uh, I'm, I'm on that train all day. When it comes to the, the work on the football field, I should say, what is one thing that makes you really stand out, you think, at that position on the interior defensive line? What's a trait that really makes your game stand out? Um... I would say just, uh, you know, my quickness out the ball, you know, I, I take a lot of pride in that. Um, and I would say just my understanding of, you know, the offensive side of the ball, in particular, uh, the protection, you know, and what certain teams like to do. You know, as, as a defensive lineman, uh, it's important to know, uh, you know, what the offensive line is trying to do. And, you know, by knowing that, then you understand what you have to do. Um, you know, and I try to instill that in anybody else that I'm uh, you know, playing alongside as well. You mentioned your quickness, your explosiveness off the snap. I was I was looking at some of your combine metrics, which, you know, you probably haven't done a broad jump in four years, but I saw that you jumped 110 inches in the broad jump. That's that's the lower body explosivity right there, right? That's where that all comes from. Oh, uh, I guess so. <laughs> so, yeah, when I, when I do pull up that tape, you know, I watch I watch you uh, rush the passer from that zero tech or that one tech, and, man, it's, it's fun to watch. And I'm curious, what is what is the job of that that position in this defense when you are head up over the center? What's your number one goal when you're, you know, rushing the passer from that zero tech or that one tech spot? Well, be disruptive. Be as disruptive as you can, you know, uh, basically mess stuff up if you want to keep it PG. 
there you go. Perfect. Perfect. So you mentioned you've, you've been down here, you know, every year to play the dolphins in South Florida. Uh, what's your, what's your experience or your, your takeaway from South Florida? Are you excited to get down to the area loving that weather? Like what's your general South Florida, uh, opinion so far? Well, I mean, when I hear Florida, I always think of palm trees and I mean, there's plenty of them to go around. Um, I love it. You know, they're beautiful. Um, and the weather's really nice, you know, it's kind of better than being cold all the time. Yeah, I'll, I'll take that for sure as well. Uh, one more thing I wanted to ask you here, Adam, is we've been asking all your teammates this about what's the one thing that fans might not know but need to know about Adam Butler when it comes to off the football field, whether it's a guilty pleasure, like maybe an obscure hobby. What's the number one thing we got to know about you away from the football field? Uh, well, I'm a country boy at heart. Um, I like the outdoors. I love fishing. Um, I have my own pond, you know, so I go, you know, I go out to my pond, you know, go fishing. Um, as a matter of fact, I just stocked it with uh, Florida largemouth bass, uh, and they're huge. They're actually starting to spawn and breed right now, so uh, this time next year, I'll really be pulling them out. That sounds like a good time. So you mentioned that. I'm going to have to go ahead and float this idea your way. You're not only teammate, but position mate now in Zach Sealer, one of our defensive linemen here. He owns a free-range gator farm where they can hunt gators and hogs and stuff. So Ooh, nice. maybe up your alley? Yeah, yeah. I might have to get on that. Yeah, he's, he's taking a couple of the guys out there. I know it's, it's been different because of COVID, but, man, when, when things kind of clear up here, maybe that's, uh, maybe that's your first stop on South Florida tourism. <laughs> yeah. All right, Adam Butler, your new Dolphins defensive lineman. I appreciate your time today, man. I know you're busy. got lots of stuff going on. I uh, appreciate you coming on the podcast and spending some time with us. All right, thank you. Thanks for having me.